Oh, I forgot my glasses. It is time for this cot to go. It's not so much that I don't want the cot in the Jeep as much as just right now it's sitting in the Jeep and I haven't made a secure base for it so it's just rattling like crazy and it's about to drive me nuts. Also, these doors are about to drive me crazy as well. They're just clanking everywhere because I haven't adjusted them right and it's either the doors or the hard top but right now I'm going to take the doors off just to get a little freedom even though it's cold outside I kind of miss the fresh air. I'm not completely comfortable taking the DSLR anyway, everywhere right now. Um, first reason is, I don't have a bag to carry it in that I'm like confident will keep it safe yet, so I don't want to break it. And the phone is still the most versatile, so is it versatile or versatile? Anyway, the phone is still the most portable option, and um, I am going to be using the DSLR back and forth. For now, but uh, it's not going to be my main. Um, oh no, I want to make it my main, but right now I'm using my phone at the current moment because I'm going to go run some errands, and right now this is just the easiest option. But I'm probably going to go back to the DSLR, especially when I'm in my house, so it's going to be kind of back and forth. But right now I'm going to go run to JCPenney. They're supposed to have some jeans on fit sale, and right now, None of my jeans fit, so I'm gonna go see if I can buy some jeans that I like, that are comfortable, that I don't have to wear a belt for, just so I can... Oh my word, look at this. Kai, what's wrong? What are you doing on Preston's desk? That's a desk right there he's standing on. Hey, I'm gonna come back, okay? I promise. I won't leave you. I used to go to work every day, how'd you ever live without me? Puppy, get down. Get down off the desk. Okay, I hope he wasn't standing on a computer. Oh my word. Stupid me decided not to bring a beanie. Or gloves. That was a bad idea. It's not that cold outside, but once you're driving at like 40 miles an hour, it's, it's pretty cold. So, oops, my bad. I had to go pick up a paycheck because I don't have money. So, now that I have money, I'm gonna run to the bank and I'm going to cash this in. I owe my dad some money for my bills and whatnot, my phone, whatever else, insurance. And then after I find out what I have left, I'm gonna go buy some jeans. Unless I can't find any that fit, then I'm not gonna buy jeans. Three hundred and seventy dollars is my last paycheck. Not too bad. I walked into that bank with my hood on and stuff because, you know, it was cold. I was wearing my hood because I was riding in a Jeep with no doors. And the lady at the bank, she's got me memorized by now. She saw me when I walked in. Uh, after I got the cash, she was like, I'm going to tell you something. Um, when you walk into a bank, it's probably best to take your hood off. And I was like, I didn't think about that. Jeep Close Penny. Pretty sure that's what it stands for. It's a nice Cherokee. So, I've been waiting for a good time to buy a bunch of jeans that I know will fit me because all my jeans are too big and JCPenney's having sale right now. So, it's $20 per pair of jeans. Not bad, except for I don't know if any of these are gonna fit. So there's only one way to find out. Try them all on and hope I get lucky. I tried all these on guys, that's just me. And then someone tried this on. Well, all those jeans. But I found a winner. I just recorded a whole segment in 90 degrees, so you couldn't, it, it would have been all weird on the video. So I'm re-recording. Okay, so I didn't buy any of the jeans because I finally found the ones that fit me, but they only had one pair of the ones that fit me, so 
I just wrote down the size and I'm just going to uh, I'm just gonna get it later I'm gonna order it online and then hopefully they come in soon and I'll finally have jeans that I know fit me thank goodness because so far these things are all like baggy and loose and I need a belt just to wear them <laughs> I need new um, gel for my hair and I'm gonna try to find a notebook so I'm at Walmart right now but it looks like these guys are kind of in a pickle you guys need some help come to think of it that's actually a really good story one time um, when we were still in Midland we got the keys locked inside of our car I'm just kind of walking through a section sorry we got the keys locked in the car and we didn't know where the spare was and we were kind of impatient. We tried to get the key out of the car by sticking something down the window and unlocking it and um, we broke the window so that wasn't fun. It was a stressful month trying to move to Longview but that's, yeah, it was, it was fun. <laughs> I've been using the same hair gel for like the last six months. It's two dollars and you get this giant vat of it. it. It's like literally a fraction of the price and like double the uh, amount of like the expensive hair gel stuff. It's got coconut oil in it and I've tried the expensive stuff. It works better than like any gel I've ever had. It's great, it's like, it doesn't leave flakes, it sticks well and it like leaves coconut oil in your hair so it, anyway, the stuff's great and I can't find it and I'm like, I don't even know where to look now. I hope I kept the bottle. I probably didn't throw it away yet so I can look it up to see if like I can buy it somewhere else because like this stuff is amazing and I don't see it. And now I'm disappointed. And then after looking at the notebook section, it appears they don't have the notebook I'm looking for either. So overall, kind of a failed trip. Oh. Someone left the door unlocked! So, my mom's giving me a photography session to go practice at. She's gonna, she's right now, she's working with the client for her photography and I'm just gonna go out there and I'm gonna get video footage. Just, I think I'm just practicing right now. I don't think I'm gonna use this, but that's where I'm going right now. Uh -oh. Got it all dirty. Bye, ma'am. I'm gonna try to Casey Neistat at this thing. So I found out um, I need a firmware update on the Canon 7D so I can adjust audio settings. Oh, wait, I need my glasses. So right now, I know for a fact my audio is gonna sound super fuzzy, so it's probably gonna be really, really bad audio actually, but uh, hopefully it works out. So I'm actually using my um, 18 to 55 millimeter uh, kit lens because the lens that I bought, I decided not to bring it because I'm hoping my mom with her thing. Hopefully the graphics look okay because literally a kit lens. So the other day when I rode my penny board through the park and it was wet and dirty and um, I rode it anyway, um, that might have not been the best idea because right now I'm riding this penny board and it is like I don't know if you guys can hear that. That bearing got dirt in it or something and it's just like, that one wheel, it just does not spin. It's just This parking lot area literally looks like a place I would do parkour like in the past. Like um, when I was 14, me and my friend used to always be super active. We did BMX, parkour, and then like a little bit of just pretty much anything else that was active. So this used to be like anything like this, which is was just awesome. Like no way else to explain it. So you'd always enjoy just coming out to places like this and just like looking around. Not loud up here? Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Apparently being up here is not allowed. Must have missed a sign that's like no trespassing. I saw no restricted vehicles, but no like no trespassing. Oh well, so be it. Well, I guess it is kind of like no trespassing unless you ask for permission or something like that or when it's closing. Still kind of confused on the rules, but he was closing anyway, so five minutes more and it would have been trespassing and it would have been locked in, so I guess it works out. He was nice about it too. He wasn't like telling me he's gonna call the police or anything. 
I've had people like that before when me and my like when I was saying me and my friends used to hang out. We had the police call on us one time. And we weren't doing anything wrong, and so the police was confused. We were confused, and he like didn't know what to do. That was funny. Yeah, we've had people be rude to us before. I think they just see someone on a teenagers on a bicycle or just uh, pretty much teenagers anywhere. People just assume they can't be up to any good. So we got in trouble a couple times, but like we didn't get in trouble because we weren't really doing anything wrong. So. Stuff like that just happens, I guess. I guess it's just a normal thing. <laughs>